Well, god dang it. What is going on, people? Welcome back to more esports talk. Another reason out there for a bunch of European and other regions out there to hate North American CSGO, and this is it. CSGO cheating is all of a sudden ruining the game. Amidst all the things we've made progress on, especially when it comes time for a great tournament scene, a great ending to 2019, and viewership numbers alongside, most importantly, player base numbers being at all-time highs, especially throughout December, typically a player break, break uh, month, I should say, and we also broke player base records during that time. And now this, guys, over the past, I would say two weeks or so, but especially this past week, CSGO cheaters are also at an all-time high. We have several pro players out there, Elise being one of them, amongst other accounts. We have Flom, we have Hiko, all adding their two cents, and a few other pros as well, but mostly community members also reporting the fact that almost every game they hop into in matchmaking has some sort of cheater, whether on their team or the other, and certainly becoming a very prevalent issue across many people in the community, Don Hasi being one of them, especially when you search CSGO cheaters in your Twitter thread and all of a sudden hundreds of accounts are popping up, you know this is an issue and it's all the more disrupting because this comes out of a time where you would not see it coming, right? Especially with CSGO at a high peak and especially after in the closing months we had a teenager out there, shout out to Two Eggs, had a quick conversation back and forth with him, the teenager developing an AI cheating software to actually catch cheaters which already had banned 14 plus thousand accounts. That was about a month and a half or so back and alongside that brought to us by Don Hossi and of course Vacban waves have continued over the past month and a half. Yes, a huge Vacban wave this month in January and last month in December and I mean huge. Over a million accounts have been VAC banned in the past month alone, and that's just a small figure. So how are there so many cheaters in every matchmaking game? I do not know. You know, we talked about this around a year ago, the fact that Valve is trying to expand their, their VAC farm, right? Thousands of PCs and dedicated software to actually approach this system and try and VAC ban all the cheaters out there. And then what happens is the game was made free. People can simply sign up for CSGO time and time again. And that has to be, I would say, a root cause of this besides maybe other things that we are obviously not knowing of publicly um, in terms of what maybe internal struggles are going on at Valve as to how these cheaters can bypass the system so easily, especially when it comes to matchmaking, which, by the way, you know, kind of makes the game for the casual player base as well as any pros who want to have some fun as well. It has certainly been an issue over the past, I would say, 24 to 48 hours, and especially over the past week. We are seeing more cheaters now than I I personally possibly have ever seen and more complaints about it on top of that. It just sucks to see, especially at a time where CSGO is peaking, to see cheaters also peaking and what is going to be done, maybe a response sometime soon, hopefully a hot fix of some sort or an update from Valve we can expect maybe this week or next about the issue and what is causing it. I would love that kind of transparency. All I can do right now is ask all of you guys, have you played with a cheater recently? Because the answer for all of you casual players is likely yes. Hopefully a fix coming soon. We hope Valve responds about this because cheating is not only prevalent in CSGO. We all know this. We saw it, especially when Apex was taking off. They had hundreds and hundreds of thousands of cheaters. Most recently, I actually talked about here on this channel, Fortnite also struggling with aim hackers and cheaters as well. It's becoming more and more apparent, especially across, I guess you could say, the free games. And so I kind of beg the question, is CSGO being free the root cause of all of this? Until next time, breaking down CSGO esports gaming news here every single day, all day long. Stay tuned, guys. I'm not done yet today. Let's keep on yelling.